What's up, everybody? Big Herc 916 getting down with Fresh Out. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Quit bullshit, man. Support. Go to freshoutseries.com, pick you up some merch. I'm here with my man Danny Navarro. We kicking some prison talks, um, sharing some game, and um, you know, always try to have some diversity on the channel. And you know, Danny reached out to me. We finally were able to make it happen. Um, Danny, you know, what would be some of the things that you've seen or experienced in prison that, you know, left an impact on you and you think like, damn, you know, this is some crazy shit, man. And uh, it kind of makes you more appreciative for the life you have now. So I, I want to say there's a lot. There's a lot. And it's just different stages, right? And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's seeing somebody make a mistake that happened and then get sentenced to, you know, a lot of time, you know, 10, 20 years from something outside in the street, right? From, um, you know, if it was drugs, um, you know, a DUI, right, in the county, right, seeing someone like, man, I killed somebody, the time right now I'm facing all this time, you know, uh, and, and that's, in, that's in there, right? And you're talking to these individuals that are facing all this time. But then you got, you know, like I told you the story, right, right when I got there, you know, there was a big riot and, and I, I was in, in my cell and I missed, I, I guess it happened a few days before. And then I'm in the, in, in the vents hearing people are like, man, I'm getting ready to go home. And now I'm facing 10, 20 years. Right. And, and then also times it's just like where, you know, you're, you're hearing, you know, down the, down a couple of cells down, down screaming, yelling, you know, calling for help and, you know, cops not coming, you know, um, you know, how, like how, that. how, um, how serious, like, you know, people think like on the street, uh, you know, they, a lot of people, they don't, they don't have a problem like just lying or burning somebody. And I tell people, man, you can't do that, man. I mean, you know, your word is everything. It's like somebody saying, oh man, um, you know, I, 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 I can, I got this right here and I can make this happen, but they're lying to impress you. And then when you confront them about it, they're like, oh man, I really don't have that. And I'm like, dude, you know, on the street, somebody would could kill you for that. Yeah, because they would already bet everything they had on that to change your life. Mm -hmm. And like you know, in prison, like you know, guys getting caught up, uh, you know, whether it's trying to bring in drugs or trying to get so, involved on the gambling table and then turn around, they don't really have the money to pay or talking out the side of their mouth. Oh man, I was this, this, and that. And a lot of people in prison, your word is everything, man. Yeah, that's all you have. So you have your words and everything. And going back to that, right? Like it's also when you're selling drugs in there, it's another federal case, right? And I've seen many different people, you know, met, you know, I even got, I got stuck in something like that, you know, not for selling the drugs, but being around the guys that, so I was in there, like, it was, you know, same thing like out on the street, you know, hanging out with the wrong people, right? So hanging out with some of the homies that were, were selling at the time, and then they, they take everybody, you know, yeah. 10, 20 of them, right? And, Under investigation. And, yeah, you know, and then also too seeing people that you know that are that are on dope, right? That are collecting up debt or or uh, you know trying to buy at the time right in there. Like we talk about just the, we, right before we were we we started, right? We talked about like the racial stuff, right? And then you buy you know you, you can't buying stuff from you know other people and stuff, other races and stuff like that. So you see it, you see it all, you know. Yeah. And and but but yeah, I mean that's all we have is our word in there. I mean out here or anywhere. Yeah, that that um and and you know the association in there has a lot, a lot more uh, consequences behind it because I you know, y like you said, if you're around somebody who's doing something, and or you are seeing like oh well, you know this guy walks the track with this guy all the time so he must be his other man, so that you get caught up in the same investigation, and you know there, you know one thing I tell these guys I hear who think they're gangster for one you guys don't know shit about the law. Mm -hmm. For number two, you're not trained to hear, handle interrogation. These people put you in these rooms, shut the door, no windows, yeah. AC blowing. Game, yeah. Dudes are sitting there like this, you know, they're watching you, and they just come in and they they're like trained interrogators. The feds, these dudes, some of them, you know, they 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 got classes on this stuff where your movement, your body language. So you got guys sitting in there and they come in like two, three hours later, you're thirsty, got to pee. Uh, oh, it's so and so. Um, so, do you know anything about this? Nah. You mean to tell me you don't know nothing? I see you with the guy all the time. Blah 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 blah. You know. And then so you you got to know how to handle a situation. And a lot of these kids, your kids, you're young. You've never been in a interrogation situation. You're not trained military. You do. Mm -hmm. you, you you're, you're shooting a gun like this all over your head. You don't even know what you're doing. 
Yeah. You know, yeah, so sure. it's, a, it's a different level of game when you talk about getting in there and actually being under the gun and you're dealing with people and, you know, there's, there's levels. You, you got, like you said, you got the SIS in there, they investigate yeah, 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 stuff. Yeah, yeah. They got their own little system in yeah. there. They got, you know, people who come by and look for stuff. I mean, forensic people. They've got, this shit is a whole nother level, man. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, when people think about, you know, oh, man, they, you think they got cameras on the street? They got cameras everywhere. They got cameras everywhere, yeah. You know? Yeah. So uh, it's a lot more to it than just doing your time. And, you know, that's why I tell people I don't really brag. It's nothing to brag about or glorify because I'm, I'm just so grateful I made it out of there. Same. And I'm able to do what I'm doing now. But, you know, when you see some of these other platforms and people are like, oh, man, this guy, he did 30 years. And I'm like, yeah, man, he's, dude, I, I know dudes who give their left nut to get out. Exactly. And not have to do the 30. And, you know, I, I don't wish prison or jail upon anybody, first of all. And, and, and the thing is, sharing here that anything is possible when you get out. But I'm very grateful that I got the 10 years because I was able to be who I am right now, right? Um, but it, it, a, a lot of people don't have that chance. They don't make it out. How many, how, many, how many guys in there have you seen train wreck that you see coming in and you're a, like, damn? A lot. Many. Many. Do something out of pocket. Out of pocket, yeah. And then, and then, see, and then also that's that's a one that's one area. Like that's like you know always like every, every day, every week. There's always something happening in there. And then, and then not only on the other side is that when you're getting in trouble, right? Like right, like I've seen so many people ship. They ship them across New York, Mississippi. You know, across like all right, you want to mess around? Boom, get you out of here. Yeah. You know, diesel see, therapy. Yeah. And and I tell people too that. People can get information on you. I've seen somebody be good and somebody get on the phone, come off, and they tell how to meet in a yard. Yeah. Shit changes quick. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I had to grow up really fast. I did, you know, I had to grow up really fast. You know, at 18, like, it, it's just, I was, you know, at the time, a kid, and it's like, you gotta learn how to be a man, you know? Now, do you think there's more pressure in the Hispanic community in prison to be a part of a clique, or is it easier to kind of do your own thing? No, you know, it, it's a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure, you know. Um, being Hispanic, I mean, it's either there's there's two, there's, there's three, I guess, right? It would be the others, or the you know the the paisas or the south side. That's it. Like that's, that's it. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. You know, and and it, I mean, but a lot of pressure. And not only that, when you're young, you know, because when you're young, you're also trying to prove yourself, you know. And especially if you're from a, you're from a gang, like that, you know, that's that's just the way it is, you know. Yeah. And, and 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 that's just the way. I told thing another thing too, just touching on that. Like you said, if if, if when you're on the street and you're claiming some, you really haven't been. You, you might have been tested, but you haven't really been tested. Because then you get in here to the OG who's from that gang, and he's like, "Who are you? Oh, I'm so and so, so and so from from where?" He gonna go check on you mm-hmm. to find out who yeah. this dude was on the street yeah. claiming this yeah. and whatever. And if it don't check out, it's in all bad, trouble. man. It's all bad. So you got guys in there who haven't been on the street in 20 years, but they're still like. The OG from that hood. Yeah. And so they're looking at stuff and like, dude, who's this dude? Yeah. So it's a lot of, and it's like, you, you know, the kids think, oh man, there's people you got to answer to that's more powerful than your dad in there. Exactly. You know, and it's exactly. a totally different. Uh, oh, it's a world. It's a yeah, world. and punishment system. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know, they'll send 10, 15 dudes in there on you. Exactly. You know, so uh, it's definitely, man. Um, and you, you, it's like walking on eggshells, you know? Like, it's not walking on eggshells. Like, it's like, for so many long, right? We, we, we you know, we, we walk around. We can't walk around with no sandals. We can't take no naps, right? We take naps with, with, with our boots on. Like, it's just like, it's just... Go to the shower with your boots you on. Brought, you go to the shower with your boots on. It's like, there's always walking on eggshells, not yeah. knowing, you know? And that was scary. Yeah, I tell people even um, when you're going, you know, where I was at, going to the chow hall, you got to know how to walk to the table. You mm-hmm. can't split the tables. Mm-hmm. You go around, you don't, you know, certain tables, you, certain lines you got to go through. I mean, it's all type Some of rules. Don't touch certain things. Don't so, you know, put your you hand know. over someone's food. You know? Man, I mean, literally, you grab an, you, if you don't set somebody's toast on their tray wrong, and he threw, he threw your toast. That's disrespectful. Yes. You know, you don't, yes. you do this. I mean, there's little things, man. So, and, and it, you, you, the person on the other side, you don't know what level that dude is. You might not have even heard of dude. This dude is somebody. He yes. could be anybody. Yes. You know, exactly. so there's a lot of that stuff, man. I, I, you know, that's why I never judge somebody based on their appearance. Never. And I always show the utmost respect that, you know, even the, the little guy, because I've seen a little little dude, quiet dude in there, 
cold killer, bro. Yeah. Shot caller. Under, you know, low key, the man. And it's not the dude who's wolfing, talking loud. It's the quiet dude, you know, and you never even seem really talk to anybody. Exactly. So it's, it's just a different, it's a different um, hierarchy inside, you know, those walls, man. And it's not nothing I would try to glorify. No, not at all. Yeah. Not at all. There you have it. Big Hurts 916, getting down with Danny Navarro, fresh out. You tired of smelling like stinky butt, funky armpits? Wash your ass. Go to freshoutseries.com and pick you up a bar of soap.